Good morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Brandon Charbonneau. And I'm Lexi Lee. And welcome to FLTV. We are going to be covering a lot of stories today. Some of these stories include winter sports and what's going on in the lunchroom. We're also taking you behind the scenes in the tech department. All of this coming up now. Being in middle school has been so much fun. Yeah, it's been fun, but I'm looking for more of a challenge. Let's go to Stephen Tarno on what students think about going to high school. I'm Stephen Tarno, and I'm going to tell you where students are going for high school and what they're looking forward to in high school. Um, well, this was a hard decision for me to make because I wanted to go to LVA for dance, and then I wanted to go to Gorman too, and then I wanted to go here too. So I just decided to stay here so to make my decision easier. I'm either going to stay here or Bishop Gorman. I'm going to go to Gorman and I'm going to switch to Faith and I'm going to, from last semester, I'm going to go to Palo. Faith Lutheran Junior Senior High School. Students, tell us where they're going for high school. Um, high school seems really fun and I'm really looking forward to it because, I don't know, it seems really fun and you get to have a lot of cool classes. Uh, I guess the sports, yeah. The girls. <laughs> I'm looking forward to just chilling, you know? Just just chill. This high schooler tells the middle schoolers advice about going into high school. I do. I think they should really try on um, working more on their schoolwork and less on their social life. And, you know, if you just be yourself, I think that, that it'll just come to you, you know? You'll start having a lot of friends and you'll enjoy high school, like I do. Hello, Faith Lutheran. I'm Steven Tarno, back to the studio. Hey, Brandon, how'd your Valentine's Day go? Great. Well, let's go to Ricky Cornish and see if love is still in the air. I'm Ricky Cornish, reporting for FLTV to tell you who's dating who on Valentine's Day. Oh, wait, I should bend down. Yes, I do. Her name is Lauren Jack. My Valentine's Katie McKee. <laughs> what were the Valentines doing on Valentine's Day? Coming to school. Soccer practice. Um, I'm going to go to her practice. We also found out what the Valentines got each other. A hug. Nothing. <laughs> it's a surprise. Are these Valentines happy with each other? Overjoyed. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> of course. Did singles have Valentines on Valentine's Day? No. <laughs> No, I'm not. We also find out who their dream Valentines would be. <laughs> no one, I don't like people. <laughs> Zach Efron. <laughs> uh, dude, I don't, I don't even know. What should I do? <laughs> give, me, give me a name. Taylor Swift. Ta Taylor Swift. Single or not, students and teachers are going to have a great day on Valentine's Day. I'm happy I have a Valentine. Happy Valentine's Day. I've made a lot of good memories here at Faith. Me too. I wonder if our teachers had this much fun in their high school days. Well, let's go to Brooke on Teachers High School Golden Days. I'm Brooke Nigro for FLTV. Have you ever wondered who your teachers were in high school? We caught up with a few of them to share their stories. I was involved in lots of sports. I played uh, football, basketball, and baseball. And, but I was also someone who got along with a lot of different uh, students. I was definitely an athlete. I played football, basketball, and baseball or all four years in high school. Um, I was the homecoming queen. Well, I hope my reputation was one that was friendly and um, was a good student and uh, enjoyed sports. The homecoming court and uh, before we were who was going to be crowned homecoming queen. Um, and my dad uh, drove me and my dad walked me on the field and that was probably my most memorable because he's gone now. I'd say people saw me as, I was pretty social, I, I talked a lot so I had a lot of friends. I, I, I always liked to, even as a senior, I'd make sure that the freshmen were okay and the sophomores were okay. And, and so I kind of used my platform as a, as a visible athlete in the school uh, just to make sure that other kids were comfortable. I've always had a soft spot in my heart for, for the underdog. My reputation in high school, I was a good girl, very good girl, had good grades. Um, never gave my parents uh, 
Any trouble? I don't know if that's hard to believe or not. As you can see, some of our teachers are jocks, cheerleaders, homecoming kings and queens. I'm Brooke Niagara for FLTV. Back to you in the studio. Hey Brandon, do you play any winter sports? Yeah, I snowboard. Well, let's slide on over to Aaron and see what other winter sports students do. Hi, I'm Aaron Rapp, and I'm going to give you the inside scoop on your winter season. I snowboard. I ski. I snowboard. We asked some students where they usually go skiing or snowboarding. Uh, Mount Charleston. Deer Valley. Well, I usually go back to New York over the winter or I go to Mount Charleston. Next, we asked them how long they've been skiing or snowboarding for. Uh, a couple years. Since I was like three. About a year or two. Finally, we asked some students whether they would want to do a school sport or a sport like skiing or snowboarding. I would rather snowboard. Well, um, I'm not good at volleyball, so yeah, I'd rather ski. Um, if snowboarding was a school sport, then yeah, snow uh, school sport, but otherwise, snowboarding. As you can see, many people are prepared for their winter season. Back to you, the studio. Have you ever wondered where your food comes from? Or who works hard to feed over 1,300 students? Well, let's go to Cameron behind the scenes of the cafeteria and find out. I'm Cameron Russ reporting to you on what students think of the food and bringing you behind the scenes of the cafeteria. Students tell us if they like the lunch food. So, yes and no, because one time there was this chicken, and it wasn't cooked all the way, and it was, like, raw. It was really gross and nasty. Uh, yeah, because it's good, I guess. No. I don't like it because I don't feel like there's enough choices. I don't because I bring my own food, and I think that tastes better. The cafeteria's general manager tells us what her job is in the kitchen. Uh, my job title is general manager, but I'm also a certified executive chef, so I help with the menu planning, I hire all the staff, I do all the scheduling, I do all the ordering, and I take care of everybody back in the cafeteria. Kathleen of the Lunch Lady tells us what her job is in the cafeteria and why she likes it. And I'm a cashier for I have this out of the kit, and so I have this a kitchen, and so and everything is I do it and that's all of the organized and I working as a teacher's lounge also and I love this kid so that's why I working in, the, in school. Students around campus tell us their favorite meal in the cafeteria. So my favorite food would have to be the pizza because like my gender is pizza and everyone wants a slice of me. An apple. Uh, the chicken fingers. Because it tastes good. I like to buy the pizza because, because it's very tasty and good. Um, I usually just get peanut butter and jelly, and that's it. Many students have their own opinion of the lunchroom. For FLTV, I'm Cameron Russ. Now let's go over to the people who make this newscast possible. Maddie? There are many people at Faith that work together to make this school great. We're here to help you learn more about some of Faith's faculty members. Mr. Bikema works as a counselor and helps make sure that today's students become productive and well-adjusted Christians. The best thing I can say, uh, you know, if I tried to sum it all up, it, it, contributing to Faith is uh, kind of just giving everything I, everything I can to help the students uh, and the parents and the teachers and everything here. Mr. Bikema isn't the only one who helps the students with their problems. Nurse Ramona helps hurt or sick students in the nurse's office. I love Faith. Uh, pretty much everything about Faith. The kids are great, the parents are just really wonderful, and the staff and the administration are just the best. So it makes my job so much easier because you want to give when you're in an environment that nourishes what you do and appreciates you. I love my job. Now moving on to the Tech Center, where Mr. Zoys helps sort out technological issues within the school. It's an area I like to work in. I like doing tech work and I like being able to do ministry work with kids. The hardest part about my job, working on 20 laptops at a time. 
Mr. Zoyce is not just an employee. He used to be a student here at Faith. I graduated here in 06 and I started in 1999. So, the next time you sprain your wrist, have trouble in school, or have a computer on the fritz, remember these faith workers. They can help you with what you need. I'm Madison Craya for FLTV. Back to you in the studio. Now let's go to Maddie Larson with Fun Facts. Now, please enjoy these bloopers from first semester of TV production class. <laughs> <laughs> we all know the... We all on the... All right, just got to... Hello, and welcome to Fun Facts with the both of us. Maddie Larson and Cameron Russ. <laughs> next, I'm Maddie Larson. Your next. <laughs> Stop rubbing my leg. <laughs> Looks like a so the soccer. <laughs> Wait. Ready, ready. One more time. Okay. Go. I just forgot my gown. I just held it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Get ready to meet me on the slopes of Charleston, and I'm ready to see you for FLH TV. Oh, that's high school. Looks like the soccer season will be beginning this year for FL TV. I'm Maddie Larson. Oh, on the slopes of Charleston, this. What did I? Thanks a lot. I can't catch you with one hand. On the winter sports. Here for FL TV. Thank you for watching. Okay. I'm Cameron Russ from. A <laughs> Wait, I need. Again. Yeah. 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 They're everywhere. Hello. Hi. I know I'm ready for Christmas. Are you for FL TV? I'm in rep. Here. Good morning, Faith Lizard. I'm Cameron Ross. Wait, maybe. Oh, we have five minutes. No, just kidding. Fifteen. Okay, let's go. So, be sure to catch the. Side scoop with Aaron on what students may think. What I am I say? <laughs> we all know all the students here at Faith are very talented. about how this oh what did I just say? I go Hi I'm Aaron Rapp reporting here at Faith Lutheran and I'm gonna give you an overview on the Christmas Are you serious? What? Oh ah! That's it for this newscast. Until next time stay, stay holy and stay in school. Harlem shit.